Hey guys, it's Rufus. For these strats, you need to understand our end goal first. For one strat, we're taking master control and going for an execute. And for the other, we're taking office control and going for an execute here. First, I'll start with the master push. Now, in order to plant in master, we need control of solar. I'll get to why later, but we would not be able to take control of this area by using only these windows. Because of this, we're going to have to take control below site in order to use this stairway as another way to push solar. We will need to take a lot of control below site in order to safely and effectively use this plan, and we will be clearing trophy, kitchen, dining, and west main. The reason for this is so that we can easily watch our flanks from this stairway and this doorway. In addition, we can utilize this control below in order to clear shields or to clear players from several positions, which I'll get to in a moment. However, you could also argue that we only need to take control of Trophy in order to continue pushing up these stairs. And that is true, but if there are any roamers down here, they can very easily wallbang these walls and possibly get a lucky pick. If the roamers know you're very cramped and only using this small amount of control, they will react accordingly and wallbang these walls or open them. This is especially important because in order to clear solar, we're going to be using one extra step. We will be breaching below in these two spots. You can either use explosives or buck for this, but the goal of breaching here is to clear the defenders from playing in these positions. This would mean that the defenders wouldn't be able to play here, and you would be one step closer to getting the control you need. Now, in order to actually take this control, you have a lot of options. I suggest having someone enter through the basement and heading up the west stairs. You can use the window and trophy and the windows at west main in order to push these roamers and to get a foothold into the first floor. You can also have someone repel on these double windows early as that prevents the defenders from using these stairs. It would therefore cut off any roamers from rotating back to site and also makes it easier to roam clear since the defenders wouldn't be able to push down them. What you do from there is your choice. Now that I've gotten out of the way, we're going to next try and take control of solar. But there is one problem with pushing up solar stairs and taking control this way. If the defenders hold across from master and bathroom, you likely would get traded when pushing up these stairs, and so taking control this way would be very inconsistent. However, you can prevent the defenders from peeking in master if you have someone repel on master window. What this does is it allows our entry player to push up the solar stairs, and they will only have to worry about taking one gunfight with somebody in bathroom. Now, at this point, we're very close to being able to execute. We will want to open this wall so that we can make it harder for the defenders to retake master. Our next goal is to push into site and go for plant. The way we will be doing this is by planting at this bed. There is a lot of cover and we can get there quickly. Now in order to get into site, I suggest using smokes or else it will probably be hard to push in. There are a lot of angles the defenders can use from office in order to kill you as you sprint into site. And in addition, I want to talk about this wall. If the defenders open this wall, you need to closely watch bathroom in order to keep the planner safe. So here would be the ideal positioning in a post-plant situation. First, you have the planner, one person on a master window, two people on both sides of the breach, one will be watching office and the other will be watching this closet. And finally, a person will watch bathroom. Not just in case this wall is opened, but also because you don't want any of your teammates getting killed by a defender flanking from bathroom. With this positioning, you can successfully cover every angle and really make it hard for the defenders to retake site. Now, if you only had four people though, you could just have one person on breach watch closet. Since the player on master window can prevent the office players from pushing, it is not necessary for a player on breach to also watch office. This next push is all about taking office control. Our goal here is to open this wall so that we can go for a plant behind this half wall. In order to get here though, we will need to do a lengthy roam clear, and most people will push into library so that we can take control of mezzanine and this hallway. However, this is not enough control. We need to take control below site for two reasons. First, we want to safely be able to open this wall, especially if our hard breachers are going to be there. In addition, we will be able to prevent the defenders from nitroing below us throughout the entire round. Below site, we will be clearing fireplace, bar, stock, games, this entire hallway, and just everything up to this doorway. This is so that we can cover our flanks easily from three places, this door and these stairways. In order to clear this area, we have some options. I'd recommend starting with opening the main door and the canine window. This puts some early pressure and makes the defenders feel like they can't move around as much, especially around fireplace. In order to actually enter the building though, I suggest using the games window and a mud window in order to enter. You could have somebody enter the basement too in order to use either of these stairways as an entry point. 
I know it may seem odd to have somebody solo enter the basement, but it's okay if you have a pre-placed drone or some pre-round intel. Like Villa, Chalet is a map with a lot of entry points, and so the basement is a great place to just randomly enter the building and really get a foothold into the building. It's a great entry point, and on Villa, you can enter so many random places and easily catch defenders roaming off guard. On Chalet, that same philosophy can be used here. So the way you clear this roam isn't particularly important, as it likely won't be contested heavily. Anyway, once you do clear below site, we're going to next take control of library and mezzanine. This will be very easy since we can rotate somebody to K9 and either one or two people to push into library. Anybody below site would be able to use these stairways and support the roam clear. With this positioning, you'd easily be able to pinch and cut off any roamers playing around here, so the roam clear shouldn't be much of an issue. At this point, you can begin opening this wall, and afterwards, you can immediately go for an execute. Planting an office is going to be very similar to planting in billiards on coastline. You will only be able to plant when the defenders have run out of nitros and smoke canisters, because your position is extremely predictable. However, once the defenders have run out of utility, here would be the ideal post-plant positioning. First, you have the planner, then one person on breach to cover the planner, another would be at canine and could hold office and master, one person would need to watch this doorway for a flank, and the last person is flexible. With this positioning, your team will be well spread out and can watch every angle necessary in order to protect the planner. However, for the last person, they can either play at K9 or Mezzanine. I think this would be a strong position as you could cover the planner and also watch for anybody trying to nitro below the planner. But what do you guys think? If you were to attack Chalet, how would you do it? Because I know this is a newer map and the strategy is not super well defined yet. You can comment down below regarding that, but if you want to follow my Twitter, Discord server, or Patreon, link will be in the description below. But that's all to say for this video, and if you learned something, give the video a like, and if you want to see more content like this and subscribe. Toodles!